Hello, welcome to Master Matic. In this chapter, you will learn pattern and sequences. Do you know what is pattern? The pattern of a number sequence can be determined by adding, subtracting, multiplying, or dividing to the previous number. For example, when you see this set of numbers 1, 5, 9, and 13, can you identify the pattern of this set of numbers? Yes, it is adding 4 to the previous number. Let's see an example of subtraction. In this set of number 13, 9, 5, and 1, it is subtracting by 4 to the previous number. How about multiplication? In this set of number 1, 4, 16, and 64, it is multiplying by 4 to the previous number. And the last one, division. 64, 16, 4, and 1. This is dividing by 4 to the previous number. Of all the examples shown, there are 4 terms in the set of numbers. Some may have 5, 6 or 7 terms or even more. The first column is the first term, second column is the second term, third column is the third term, the last column is the fourth term, and so on. Now, can you identify the fifth term for all the sets of numbers? Let's proceed to the next topic, sequence. If a set of numbers are arranged in a pattern, the set of numbers will form a sequence. Look at these three examples. The sets of numbers are arranged in pattern. Therefore, they can form a sequence. On the other hand, these sets of numbers do not have a constant pattern. Therefore, they cannot form a sequence. Look at these special sets of numbers. The patterns are increased uniformly, therefore it also can form a sequence. On the other hand, the pattern of these sets of numbers doesn't increase uniformly, therefore it cannot form a sequence. How are you guys? Is this chapter easy? Now, we are at the end of this chapter. You may pause the video and try this question. The answers are provided at the end of this video.